welcome to Long's Toys. Have an Ultraman egg review for you today. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, uh, you'll see that I just got a huge order from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, they were having a sale, and I got a bunch of these for like around $7 a piece. I think I have nine all told. So I decided to break them up into three reviews of three each. So today we have uh, Dark Luvial, Father of Ultra, and Seabaws. Or Seabazu. Now I'm not really super familiar with Ultraman. Um, I have a basic knowledge. I know what he is. It's another kind of tokusatsu show over in Japan. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've had a, there's been a little bit of American exposure for Ultraman, but not at nearly as much as Japan. Um, I just bought these things because I got the Godzilla eggs and I absolutely loved them. And I just I don't know something about an egg that turns into a monster or a robot. Just really intrigues me. So I got a couple more of these. Like I said, they were really cheap. I thought they looked pretty cool. I'm going to show you this guy real quick. I'm going to back out. See if I can lift the camera up a little bit here. But anyway, this is Dark Lugiel. It says right here and right here, if you can read Katakana. I think he looks pretty cool. Here is the back of the packaging. Nothing that special. This is Father of Ultra, which I assume maybe he's like a previous Ultraman or some kind of Ultraman sage or, you know, mentorish type guy. He looks very cool. And then this is Seabaz, or Seabazu. I just thought he looked pretty cool. Like I said, a lot of these I really just bought sight on, you know, just kind of thought they looked cool, decided to give them a try. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop these three guys out of their packaging, and we'll take a look. Okay, so out of the package, here are the three Ultraman eggs. This is Dark Lugiel, this is Seabaz, and this is Father of Ultra. I'm going to put these two off to the side for a second. We'll start with this Dark Lugiel. I think he looks really, really cool. I really like the detailing and everything. He looks kind of, to me, like a rock monster or something. The transformation is very simple and very intuitive. Uh, these things come with instructions, but I really didn't bother. You kind of just lift these shoulder pads up a little bit, and the arms just kind of come out to the side. These back legs come down, and they'll snap in place. Then they have more uh, feet in the legs that you flip down. And I'm going to back this up a little bit. Then the chest opens, and then this just kind of pops around. But I love this guy's head. I think those horns are awesome. I don't know, the chest kind of reminds me of like movie Megatron from Transformers, the first movie. But overall, I would say, to me, he kind of looks like a lava rock monster. Again, I could be way off base. I'm not, like I said, I don't know much about the character or Ultraman. But I think this is really cool. I love the red detailing. It has this little spot here. I'm not sure what this means. Kind of looks like a cobra symbol from G.I. Joe. But I'm sure it's not, obviously. But I like the red uh, accents. The detailing on the chest and the red accents on the detailing on the arms. And then I'll move this up a little bit. We'll take a look at the head sculpt. I think it just looks really, really cool. The eyes are awesome. I love the horns. I mean, this guy has to be a bad guy. He's just... He looks like you don't want to mess with him. And he has, like, no kibble on the back. I think it just looks great. I just think these things are a lot of fun. I think they're really cool. Yeah, but Dark Lugiel, definitely awesome. Alright, so the next one I'm going to take a look at is Seabaz, or Seabazu. Uh, this guy kind of has a transformation very similar to the Godzilla egg. You kind of pull the tail out and flip the head around. And then you pull the arms out and flip the leg around. Do the same on the other side. He again has like kind of a mark on his leg. This one's going to be harder to see because it's white. It's kind of the off off-white color on the white I guess maybe it's a U for Ultraman not sure 
But I think this guy is kind of cool. Uh, the off-white color almost makes it look like it glows in the dark, but I tried it. It doesn't. I just really like... To me, he kind of almost looks like a skeleton. Kind of like Skull Greymon or something almost. Here's the head sculpt. It's just kind of eerie. It's like an evil skull dinosaur head. I just think it looks really cool. If it glue in the dark, that would be really, really awesome. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But yeah, I think this guy's pretty cool. Okay, and last up for today is Father of Ultra. He transforms very uh, similarly to Dark Lugial, where the arms just kind of fly out to the side. You bring the legs around from the back. They'll click into place. Then the feet pop out from the back of the legs. Now with this guy, instead of just the chest folding down, the whole piece with the arms connected and everything folds down. And then the head folds out. And then you'll pop it back together. And I'll back this up. I like this guy a lot. He's obviously an Ultraman or in the Ultraman family by the head. I love the giant horns. I think that looks really cool. I just think it's really well done. Here is the head sculpt. Typical Ultraman with the kind of fin in the middle and the giant eyes. But I love those giant horns. I think that's really cool. Overall, nice paint, nice detailing. And I really enjoy the fact that there's kind of no back kibble. It's just like a fun little action figure. So I have to say I think these things are a lot of fun. I really don't know much about Ultraman. But just as little kind of monster figures, they're just really cool. There's something about a little egg that turns into a monster or like a warrior or fighter, robot, whatever you want to call them. It just appeals to me. I'm not really sure why. I saw the Godzilla eggs. I knew I had to have them immediately. I love them. These are just as fun. So if you're an Ultraman fan or you're just a fan of kind of little egg toys that turn into monsters, you're going to love them. And the nice thing about them is they're extremely affordable. They're like 6 to $7 a piece before shipping. Hobby Link, I believe, still has them on sale. So you can buzz over there, pick up a couple. Like I said, I still have a ton to go through, so I'll be doing more reviews. I have, I think, six more. Um, but yeah, I recommend them. They're a lot of fun, and they're fairly inexpensive, which is a nice touch. So please let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and share this video. Please make sure you're subscribed. I have links in the description for my Facebook and Twitter. Please make sure you're following me on there for updates, pics of toys as I get them, things like that. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Ultraman Eggs, Dark Lugiel, Sea Boss, and Father of Ultra. And thanks for watching.